Hi, today part two of the uh, Epson Picture Mate printer teardown. So first look, another look at the electronics. Here is the control panel. And you can see, in fact, we have the LCD mounted on this angle bracket. We have the uh, keypad, but quite interestingly enough, we have real keys inside. No uh, real buttons, no this uh, carbon contacts uh, garbage you find most of the time. So this is uh, definitely some uh, quality stuff here. And also the buttons here are very thick. Really a decent uh, quality on this thing. Uh, if I remove this uh, LCD, not sure if we have behind it some uh, microcontroller or anything to drive it so now we we'll just have a few capacitors so nothing special in here maybe this uh, LCD could be reused let's find out if we have any model number, no. There is nothing written on it. It is quite sad because it should be interesting. So I believe it will go to the recycling bin. Okay, uh, so this has nothing left. We set the buttons, but uh, I will not bother desoldering them. Here we have the main uh, circuit board again. So as you can see, a pretty serious uh, Rubicon uh, capacitor here, 50 volts at 2200 uh, microfarads. Yes, because the power input is uh, 42 volts. So you need at least uh, 50 volts, maybe uh, more even should be nice. This one is nipple chemical, some uh, celastic here. About the chips, I guess they are very proprietary chips from Epson. First one here. Second one, this one here. And uh, some auxiliary stuff, probably here some uh, memory. RAM or ROM, uh, super cap here. And uh, other uh, stuff, driver, probably for the motors and, and such. Two quartz oscillators here and here. Interestingly, you know, there is some unpopulated uh, footprints here for uh, probably some uh, optional uh, features which I have not used in this particular model a big footprint also here for a big uh, IC and uh, one unpopulated um, connector here it seems ok so this was for the electronics what else? Uh, this uh, front cover with the weird uh, thing. Let's find out if we have RFID in here or not. Maybe for burglar protection in the shop or... Uh, I am not sure. It is, this part is ABS. So I will try to unglue it. Yes, it is coming off. And we just have a metal plate. So maybe it is for adding some weight to the door. Not sure. Or there is a sensor somewhere allowing to detect if the door is closed or uh, opened. But I did not see anything like so. White and the one. Yes, it is just a metal plate. 
not sure what is the goal of this thing. Okay, so this can go to the garbage. What next? Um, here. We have this uh, mechanism, it is the uh, paper feeding tray where the papers come in the printer and there is a wall setup here it can turn in only one direction there is some kind of a clock in here so I can in fact undo this lot of plastic parts, yes here is the clutch it is a one way thing quite interesting and apart from this we just have uh, plastic uh, parts more handwriting here I just notice looks like we have number 444 and in this piece we have not sure what it says oral q dash 444 right one here I can pop this out like so you can see a nice uh, reinforcement here in this piece uh, paper with adjustment in here with this slider uh, thing there is a spring and some uh, piece of uh, some material to uh, grip this part here and uh, act like a break more or less interesting but it's up. nice big spring here and now we are left with this uh, paper feeding uh, pickup and uh, here we are for this uh, what next uh, before we get to the messy stuff uh, we have here this uh, piece uh, I do not know what it does exactly it was at the, I guess it is the uh, paper output device but there is something interesting so here there is some kind of a little mechanism that does weird things and here we have this uh, assembly, there is some foam in here but it looks like we have something else behind this so I have two small things I can pop out here free even it will allow me to lift the foam not sure if it is full of ink or not yes maybe a little bit and yes we have some uh, ink absorber material here in fact not sure why ink should uh, go there but they did uh, take care of this possibility obviously here we have a little uh, belt and this uh, shaft is now coming off um, ok so this uh, wall part is crap also this is amazing the amount of crap you can get when you take apart a printer so about uh, ink absorbing materials the waste uh, ink tank which seems like new surprisingly enough and it is a two level thing So maybe this material can be reused for something. Just a little paper tray, uh, plastic tray to uh, keep the things in place. And now we are going to the messy stuff. Uh, what do we start with? Uh, the cartridge maybe? So it is the T557 ink cartridge. It looks like it is clipped. You can see the output parts here with uh, all the colors. I can see yellow, uh, some kind of uh, bright uh, magenta, bright uh, red, 
black um, darker red cyan blue and some kind of purple here really enough so what does it do I'm trying to figure out how to open this trying not to not to make holes in the ink bags if possible because it may be quite messy yes here we are so it is interesting we have more uh, ink absorbing material here probably yes look there is this uh, input here there is a channel going all the way here and ending here and this piece is getting uh, slowly filled with ink so obviously it is just for the uh, your lifetime of the car drill because you will replace it with a car drill and here we have our little pouches of uh, ink with numbers on them this one is uh, quite full this one is almost empty and more absorbing material at the bottom here so this is a quite nice piece I'm making this piece I will use this one which is already dirty for the purpose of making a mess So this is obviously the yellow, yes, and now I am annoyed, excuse me, there was a bird on my, uh, near my window, so this is just bleeding yellow what next uh, this uh, is some kind of uh, purple blue not blue and this one is quite full yes interesting uh, I will make open this in order to use this part also uh, next one uh, later blue So obviously you do not have a lot of ink in this uh, kind of little bags but the ink is still uh, good on the liquid at least and as you can see even very liquid quite amazing it does not uh, smell anything so maybe it is uh, I'm not sure which uh, solvent we could use in this, but... Uh, next, uh, the red one. Uh, I believe I will also use this piece here. Oh, just like blood this time. Okay. Yes, it is really, really fluid or black. This will be a hell of a mess. On my fingers, of course. It is more fun. And the last one. 
V bright red. Okay, I think I can get rid of this. I will clean my hand and we will continue to the main uh, with two other units. So here we have the uh, printer head maintenance unit. Here is a stepper motor in this and if I turn this gear here we can see it makes a whole bunch of stuff. There is this wiper piece which goes up and go down. It is supposed to wipe the thing it like so. Yes, to clean uh, any uh, residue from the print head. But when this gets started, really you are annoyed with your printer, you can believe me. And uh, here there is some kind of uh, ink uh, sink or so. With some kind of foam inside, little metal grill, so. And this must be some kind of pump because I can see a gear turning back here. It must be uh, connected mechanically to the, the motor. So I can undo this piece, but I guess it will just be plastic gears. screw is quite hard to do. Make sure I am focusing again. Okay. Yes, just a bunch of plastic layers. Nothing interesting. Then on this side I'm trying to figure out at the same time. Nice metal shaft here. And maybe I can lift this piece, yes. Oh, little pipes. Making... Uh, connecting the things all together. Probably it was filled with ink at some point, but oh, it is just air, maybe it drives air from the... through the... Uh, Ink uh, nozzles to inject nozzles to clean them. Not sure because in fact this thing is not uh, dirty with ink. Oh, it is completely dry. It is possible also. Yes, there is some uh, yellow here, so probably it is completely dry. Uh, we have one more uh, absorber piece here. This against the wiper. This small rubber wiper here. And uh, at the bottom here, some more kind of uh, foam material this time. Not sure what it is. So now for this piece, which I suspect is some kind of a pump. We have one screw. Second one. And last one. Um, yes, just a few big plastic gears. And yes, as expected, you can see this pipe is making uh, a loop here, and this uh, roller is uh, supposed to turn and. Uh, make some pump action it is i guess it is called a period static pump if uh, my uh, memory deserves me correctly and more uh, plastic tubing you can see there is some ink inside okay a 
or this is junk. I will just save the little stepper motor, of course. You can see how they arrange the wires. Here it is interesting. By the way, I'm using a blanking monitor and it, is, it helps a little bit to keep the things in frame. If you do not forget to have a look at the monitor, of course. So very tiny stepper motor, but it can always be useful for something. And more junk. Okay, let me get rid of the hardware here. And now we will attack the last piece, which may be messy also. The uh, print head and the um, interface here for the ink cartridge. So these are the contacts for to read the grip uh, on the in cartridge. These are the two flex uh, things with uh, the three colors circulating in uh, each one of them. It looks like we have some kind of a connector here. Yes. Exactly, as expected. So there is still some ink inside this. As you can see, this was just press fit. We have all the colors here. Uh, some more absorber material back here. And removing a few screws will allow to remove this back piece here. We have this assembly, which must now be free to come off. Yes, it is the, the little inlets for the ink, which are making the... Uh, these are the needles making the holes in the ink uh, bags. These are just uh, little pipes. Here we have a PCB with contacts for the chip on the ink cartridge. Not sure if I can pop it out or not. Yes. Just like so. Nothing special. A little golden contacts here. And the... Uh, Ink uh, things. Here there is something interesting, some kind of a clamp around this uh, piece of pipe. So this must be useful or something. Maybe useful. Here I can see little um, cells, rubber cells in each one of this thing. But I will not mess with it too much. Um, uh, this thing. We have on the back side, in fact, it is fun, we have some foil. And I guess if I peel off this foil, it may be become very messy because it is just the back side of it, in fact, sealing the thing. So, in fact, it is really, really well stuck. So, I will not bother with it. No, oh, they just uh, put ink on my floor. Okay, last part, the print head. So we have all these pipes going somewhere in here, where I can see here there is another interface. So it must be possible to disconnect at this point, disconnect. This is the first thing I will do. Remove this. Yes, it is the same kind of uh, connection. 
it may lift up on the disconnect like so okay again just press fit so I guess if I blow in these things it may become very messy but I do not know what the ink is made of so I will not take any risk here as you can see it is already a big mess um, at least for now my hands are not too dirty and uh, it looks like it cleaned very well at, uh, with hot water so okay interesting uh, stuff here one more plastic uh, piece here to keep the parts in place and more ink everywhere oh, blue and yellow makes green nice okay let's get rid of this junk immediately so we are left with the uh, core of a uh, device we print the head here we have flat flex with uh, yes there is a connector down here it looks like we have some uh, a bunch of little pumps here again or something to pull the uh, ink pull the ink through the nozzles or may at least apply some pressure to the ink some infrared sensors here probably to detect the edge of the paper not sure so where to start Smaller screwdriver. Yes, just a tiny, tiny PCB here with a tiny fire sensor. I have this piece which is probably not doing anything special, just a pressure, yes, from spring pressure plate of some kind. And oh, now, uh, what to do? I have two more screws back here. So anyway, we will not see anything very interesting in this printer it itself because it's just a big chunk of silicium. But uh, yes, it is coming off like so, so it may be uh, uh, after cells replaceable maybe not user is replaceable for sure here we have little PCB with um, infrared sensor for the uh, linear encoder which is, is which is this plastic strip in order to allow the printer know where is located the print head So this may just come off. Yes. So maybe it can be reused. More plastic junk. And we have this core piece. Yes. This comes right off. We have more of this kind of little seals. Gray rubber seals. Probably a lot of ink in this. And uh, now it looks like this assembly is pretty much sealed. Uh, maybe no. Maybe I can do something. So it looks like we have some kind of little uh, assembly here. Not sure what they do exactly. It is uh, one of uh, these assembly for two colors. Yes, 
there is no moving part around so maybe it is a one-way flow uh, restrictor or something like this but I think I will not get uh, more messy and I will leave them alone now we have this uh, pipes here and we have um, oops yes the uh, connection for the flat flex which goes uh, with a very uh, tiny flat flex at the back here like so it is the hot bar solder this piece going directly to the printer head print head uh, which I may be able to lift not sure my garbage bin is full of junk so we have here some kind of a metal plate it seems it looks to be glued with some um, uh, sealant maybe I am trying to lift it off It is not that easy. No, it does not want to come. Maybe like so. Yes. So I guess we have here the so these are nozzle, part of the nozzles with very tiny microscopic holes but I guess the smart uh, the uh, real uh, part uh, making the uh, ingest system is still uh, inside this because this has no electrical connection Oh, here we are. So you can see the flat flex here. We have a clip on film here. If I can pull it out, it will not be easy. Yes, I need to undo this, this side. Okay. Okay, so here we have a clip on board. Clip on film, exactly. And here must be the um, print heads itself, itself. Yes, in fact, we have what seems to be. I will try to zoom in with my remote with not, without putting too many ink of my own of the remote itself. So it looks like we have three times little ceramic boards yes very brittle and tiny things so they must hold the heater elements for each nozzle but it is really a stuck on this and I do not think I will be able to do much more. I will exam I will uh, check them with a USB microscope and if it shows anything of interest I will do a updated video but I do not think uh, it will be possible to see anything because there is too many ink and uh, stuff around. So this was the sealed uh, part with uh, little holes for the um, ink. One, two, six holes. 
in this particular pattern. You can see there are uh, two rows of three on this side and uh, in this pattern on the other side. Okay, this is the flat flex connecting the heads. And uh, I guess uh, we are done for now. I will try to clean the mess now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Stop, stop, please, stop, stop.